Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I'm going to chat with you guys a little bit about understanding that the uh, barbell back squat and the deadlift are foundational exercises for our lower body. I genuinely believe that the majority of people should use these for base building uh, for their overall lower body development. Now, when I make that statement, I am not saying it's the only thing they should use. I'm not saying they shouldn't do any supplemental work. Um, you know, just like if I tell people, hey, bench press and uh, pull-ups can be a great foundation for your upper body. It doesn't mean we wouldn't do curls and delt work or some incline work and, and all sorts of other stuff. It doesn't mean that. So let's get that out of the way up front because people love to uh, paraphrase that sort of thing. Now, that being said, have there been people who have built very, very impressive lower bodies pretty much all? almost nothing but squats and deadlifts? Yes, they have. Many people have done so. Uh, so, and if anyone's going to deny that, then they are in complete denial of reality. And I think one of the reasons that people uh, really like to get away from these is, is the sheer amount of hard work, okay? It is hard to get over and do a five by five on deep squats. It's hard to come in and do sets of 10 on back squats. Right, you just saw me crank out some 10 there, and then I'm doing, uh, even in this, this is a 5x5 five five on, uh, on high bar squats without a belt, you know, and all of these are from the same workout. So, uh, yes, it's difficult, it's hard, it's taxing, and people don't like that. And it, it's been my experience that the people who try to say that, oh, well, you know, the squats and deadlifts are not that great for these, it's, it's not because they actually believe it, it's because they're just flat lazy. And these things are hard. And I think what people forget is just because someone's a fitness influencer doesn't mean they're not lazy. But at the end of the day, getting in and doing some hard work will go a long way for you. It will go a really long way. And, and really what makes these exercises so good is the fact that they work so many muscles. Okay? And, and the two combined together actually almost balance some of the weaknesses out of the other one. In, in other words, on the deadlift, a lot of that posterior chain work is shifted to the posterior chain away from the quads a bit, but they still work the quads. You know, whereas in on a squat like this, you know, glutes and adductors and quads are doing most of the work and the hamstrings get fairly neglected. Uh, but you know, the deadlift, the hamstrings play a far more active role, okay? Uh, all the middle and upper back gets put into some great isometric positions. Uh, but I think something that, that doesn't get discussed is the fact that, yeah, all the trunk and core musculature gets worked a great deal on these exercises. Okay? They, get, they get worked a great deal uh, to the point where for many people that's the argument they will make against them. Well, they can be limited by the core and the lower back. And it's like, well, maybe, but that's also uh, one of their strengths one of their strengths and if you come in and do a little bit of extra core work like I like the hanging leg raises and things it will help bring them up another tier okay because it will let you get really good at them but I mean at the end of the day show me someone who can do five plus reps 405 on a squat without a belt right four plates aside show me people who can do at least five plates aside four or five reps on a deadlift. They're gonna have a jacked lower body. They're gonna have a jacked core, okay? And again, not saying this is all you need to do. I certainly do my share of other stuff. Even at the time I'm making this video, you guys see me do uh, glute ham raises, calf work, ab work, all that stuff, right? Because I think things like hamstrings, calves, abs, they could all use a little bit of extra work, right? And I don't think this is uh, exclusively all any of us need to do to get to a very high level but it absolutely absolutely can be your base okay it can absolutely be your base and and again what I want to reiterate that as I'm saying is that other exercises basically just fill in the gaps okay they can help fill in the gaps they're not I repeat not a replacement for these movements and they never will be and again, I'm saying this as a coach who has a lot of my lifters do a lot of hamstring work. I have a lot of my, my strongest lifters do leg presses. I have them do split squats. 
okay? I'm not against these movements. In fact, I think a lot of these are great exercises. They absolutely have their place, okay? So let, let us be clear here. I am not, absolutely not opposed to those movements. These are things I prescribe to clients all the time. Stuff I've done myself all the time. But these are our foundational lifts, okay? These are our foundational lifts. Just like I, I believe doing a lot of benching and pull-ups for the upper body is your foundation. It absolutely is. And, it's, and people are in denial of this. And, and, and I feel like when people try to deny these things, it is a case of them simply being contrarian because it goes in circles. You even watch the whole the bodybuilding and physique world. It goes in circles back and forth. For decades, it, it didn't. Everyone did all of that until the, the drug use became so prevalent that people could get away with other stuff and you, then you saw more of it. Right? But it goes in circles and phases. You'll have, you know, a few years to where even all the top bodybuilders in the world preach the benefits of these. And you'll have a few years with them and their coaches say, oh, they're terrible, they're worthless for gaining muscle. And then that gets pushed by the wayside and then they come back to saying, oh, they're great again. It's just cyclic waves and it's been done over and over and over and over and over and over back and forth. And it's just ridiculous. Um, and then, and that's just talking hypertrophy and physique. Let's start talking athleticism and performance. These are big structural full body exercises. They teach you to use your body as one unit. Well, for sports carryover, for athletic carryover, that's tremendous. You know, and, and when anyone says, well, I don't care about being strong. I don't care about carryover. I just want to look good. Yeah, you're ridiculous. Shut up. So you, you want to be a fake. You want to be a phony. You want to be a poser. You want to look like you're in shape. You want to look like you're strong, but you don't want to be in shape and don't want to be strong. You, you are saying you want to be a fake. Because that is what having a good physique used to represent. It was a sign that you were strong and fit. That's it. That, that's why it's attractive to some extent. That is just as silly as the, the power lifters who go, I don't care about being fit. I don't care about looking good. I just want to put up big numbers and they get fat and sloppy. You are as silly as they are. It's absolutely ludicrous. Right? And the, the reality is we should, if we're honest with ourselves, we really should care about all these things. We should all say, you know, I, I want to look good. You know what? I want to look good naked. I want to be strong. I want to be athletic. I want to have a capable body. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.